So we're on the last part of the um, install for Somatic PDM. So if we just do a, a recap, we've already installed the, the main bit of software with the three software packages, Automation License Manager, um, Device Integration Manager, and of course, Somatic PDM standalone. Then the second part of the install was installing the device library and you had two options just to install individual devices or install the whole library and then the final part is to transfer your license so the first thing you got to do is install or insert your usb into your pc when you actually look at the usb and open it in file explorer you you won't see much other than a readme document telling you how to, to use Automation License Manager. Um, so if we have a look here, to install the license, go to Automation License Manager, and open that up, you'll see that your USB is there, and there is your license. You can check it, to make sure it's okay, and then you can transfer it to your C drive and then you can remove your USB memory stick. So that's the, the license transferred. So to check um, before you go to site that your license is working, as I said, you can right click here and check. Um, but really, uh, to to quickly test it, best thing to do is just have a look at a project. So if we have a look here, we have one I've already created, Heartmaster. Okay, so you can watch one of my, my other videos. So I've inserted a heart modem. I'm not online at all at the moment, so there's no instrument connected. If I view large icons, I can see here, this is normally now I would right click this section and insert a new object. If I have a look on there, I can see that I have license information zero of one. Well, I put the single tag license on. So I can see that PDM itself is, is seeing the license and it's happy that I could, if I wanted to, put a sensor on it, I'd have to manually select it. So let's put. Um, the 80 gigahertz radar on there from Siemens. Okay. And what you might be able to see now, might not do it because we're online, but we'll try if we do check. Okay. You can also see that the license is now being used. So everything checks out. It's all good. So that's the install um, complete. Uh, the only thing now that you've got to be careful of is that you don't damage that license. So it's it's installed on your C drive. Um, some little tricks that you can do is if you've got a, a, a partitioning tool, when there's one with Windows, I haven't got around to doing this yet, is just create a very small section on your hard drive, about one gig, um, big, I think that's the smallest you can do, um, and give it a name, you know, a, a, a P drive or whatever you want, and put your licenses there, okay? Because they're away from all of your other programs uh, and your and your main drive. That would be my advice. Okay? Um, the reason you might want to do that because common common tools that can damage your licenses, uh, if you do something like a disk defrag or a you know, disk clean, standard Windows tools, um, especially the defrag, that can damage your license. Now, if you have done that, don't panic. Uh, give Siemens Tech Support Customer Care Centre a ring. Um, what they'll ask for is proof of purchase. So that can be achieved in one or two ways. The one, one is the memory stick that Kate, you, you had the license delivered on. That will have a license number on there, so you can keep that safe. 
or the box that that came in, not the box the software came in, the box the license key came in. On the front of the box, you'll see you can tear off um, the front certificate right, and keep that safe. So they'll ask for a photograph of that to be sent to them. And once they've got that, they'll contact you by phone and take you through this recovery wizard process and you, you'll they'll give you a, a code to put in there to recover your licenses now we've all seen with software you can get support contracts PDM is no different um, just be careful um, because the cost of that varies on what you've got so definitely not worth getting a support contract for the single tag and it may not even be worth getting the support contract if you've got the basic license because just to buy the software again is probably cheaper than the support contract but as soon as you start adding multiple tags or extended licenses then it's worth looking at the sus contract so i hope that makes sense so there we are pdm is installed you're ready to go you now have some software that can replace your handout heart communicator and um, you've really got access to a lot more instruments than what you would have on some handout heart communicators so hopefully you it all makes sense if you're still struggling drop us a message or contact um, Siemens customer care thank you very much mm -hmm.